Hello everyone, we are live now for a very short stream this evening, and this stream is just going to be showing the graphically updated Taverly Dungeon. I recently did a video, which you can check in the description, which shows the before and after for the uh, about three of the four dungeons that they graphically updated, so the Chaos Tunnels from Nyx Laird Caves and the Brimhaven Dungeon with the uh, Metal Dragons in it, and they did a really good job on those, but some for some reason I don't know what happened, I forgot about this... Um, Taverly Dungeon, so I wanted to show it, but I didn't really think it was worth making a whole separate video about. So I thought I'd do a little quick live stream before bed. It's 1:11 uh, a.m. here, so quite a bit later than my normal live streams. It should be interesting to see how many people are actually online. Um, but yeah, the, I, I love how the walls are much higher than they used to be. It makes it look much more like a cave rather than just this weird area where you can just see over all the walls into the other areas. Although, I guess if you've got a decent size screen, you can still see over. Well, let's see. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think they updated any of the monsters or anything. It's just the looks of the area. So yeah, it's definitely a lot better than it was before. Uh, also, another reason I thought it might be a good idea to do a stream like this is because in the last video I did, people were asking, well, a few people at least, were asking for commentary. Personally, I think it's sort of hard to give commentary on something that takes that long, uh, but yeah, sometimes commentary is nice. I put in a bunch of Eric McClure music in the other video though, so, oh wow, look at that. That's nice. And of course, bots are killing the uh, 114 in, in Dragon, really? Oh wait, what play buddy is he using? Probably like just Red Dragon. Or no, it's not Red Dragon Hide. Anyway, uh, bots killing them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Psycho. Uh, well, actually, I don't know if he's watching the stream, but I have not. Well, I've had a, maybe a couple people recognize me in real life, but uh, yeah, not many really. And yeah, I do not think this live stream is uh, being seen by anyone. It says that there's only one viewer, which is me. <laughs> uh, oh, interesting, they got rid of the bars here. I remember you used to always be able to shoot through the bars. I wonder if you can still attack them long range. I remember missing a half key because I forgot telegrabs. Or no, no, I clicked Camelot teleport by mistake rather than telegrabbing it. That was really lame. Um, yeah, the magic axes. This used to be all lava here, and that was sort of uh, interesting. So they made it just a big pit. I mean, that's sort of cool, I guess, but the lava was nice. I'm, I mean, I can see the lava over there, so I'm sure there will be some. Before we go over there, though, I'm going to go into the south part with the, uh, the Black Knights and things. Interesting. Just sort of lantern is made out of lava. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what's down here. I'm just going to close the chat because it doesn't seem like the stream is being broadcast so people won't be able to know that I'm streaming in the chat. Um, okay, nice gate there. It's good that they have some way to keep people out even if they just leave it open all the time. Black Knights could really use a revamp. They look quite outdated. Let's see. Ooh, look at those suits of armor. If they make them look like that, that would be sort of cool. Uh, I really should have brought more of the to this, that would have made this a bit nicer. Definitely for some parts of it. Yeah, I remember cannoning down here to get my Black Knight kills for the, um, uh, what's that stuff called? The Wanted Quest and the, uh, Temple Knight rankings or something like that. White Knight rankings. Okay, so let's see. They've got black knights there, 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 and there are a bunch of white knights in the castle. Uh, no surprise there. Anyway, it doesn't look like they changed a whole lot down here. The uh, I think those lava areas up north were, or, or will be more impressive, but let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
Let's go up into the lava, I think that'll be better. The music here is pretty nice, I don't think they changed it, but let's see how a lot better than I remember it. I mean, in general, the RuneScape music is significantly better now than it used to be. Yeah, I remember not liking it at all when, it, when I first started playing. Um, especially when you'd like log in in the morning when you didn't want to, or like when everything was quiet and you didn't want people to hear it and then it would like blast that intro music. Oh wow, a lava waterfall, that's quite nice. Are there any other lava waterfalls in the game? None really come to mind, although... Hmm. Oh weird. There's one of those uh, bugged areas where if you step on it, it makes you move away. I remember people dropping cash on those in Edgeville and then having people try and run and pick it up and they'd just click on it and get moved away and then someone come and tally grab it. <laughs> okay, but yeah, that's quite nice. I, I like the lava waterfall quite a lot. Uh, let's see here. No, not much has changed here. <laughs> Well, actually, there used to be a bunch of, like, demonic signs on the walls, which it looks like they got rid of. wonder why they did that. Oh no, I forgot the key. Oh well, I'll just walk around. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, I never use that entrance anymore. But, yeah, you used to have to go get a dusty key and, uh, and go through there. But yeah, the, I remember when they added the agility shortcuts in this dungeon here, it made it so much easier. Especially for people who like to, to uh, kill the blue dragons, although, I mean, now it's completely botted out, but it used to actually be, I don't know, I never did it for money, but I know some people who did it for a while. I think actually uh, Zezuma, he did it for his like prayer training or crafting training or something. He just camped there for ages and uh, crafted all the hides and things. Yeah, back then it was a lot more do-it-yourself, which is a cool style of gameplay, but yeah, it's not um, something that people really do anymore. Oh, I have energy potions. Of course. And I need to remember to anti-fire when I get a bit closer and don't want to get killed by the dragons. I wonder if they updated the resource dungeon. There's a uh, Hellhound resource dungeon further in. I guess we'll see soon enough. Okay, where is it? There we are. I suppose I don't need to worry about the dragons. Too many bots to take care of them. Oh, nice, nice. They've got some of these little lava eggs. They have some big pools and uh, big squares full of them in the uh, Brimhaven dungeon. You can take a look at that on the um, the video link in the description if you're interested. I've got in the description of that video I have links to different parts of the video and if you just check out the new Brimhaven dungeon. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh wow, so many bots in here. It's surprising that they get the dungeoneering level as well for it. I mean, I don't think it's very high dungeon. It's probably like level 50 or something, but wow, that's a lot of them. Thanks. Well, I guess they're making more money with bonus experience weekend coming. Still can't believe they're doing that again. It's silly. I mean, I guess they didn't say that they weren't ever doing one again, as people pointed out in the comments on that bonus experience weekend video that I made, but they did say that they were rethinking it, and it doesn't look like they rethought it at all because they're just doing it again. I don't know. Maybe they'll change some little things and make it a bit better. But. Right, is that the uh, fishing rod? It's nice for the uh, lava eel. And really, that's bugged as well. Oh, I guess all the edge spaces are bugged. Huh. Really, you'd think they would have tested those. I mean, that's like I ran in and immediately found it. But, oh well, I guess they miss things sometimes. It's okay. It's not like it's a big deal anyway. Ooh, what's this? Stairs. Oh, that's quite cool. I like that. There's uh, stairs to go down and fish the lava eels. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, black demons and this area. What's that? 
Uh, mushrooms, I suppose. A fungus of some sort. Yeah, the bloom effect just gives it a weird bright thing along the top there. Seriously though, what's with YouTube that didn't broadcast this video at all? I'm the only one who's watched, or I'm the only one who's watching still 10 minutes in. That's very odd. That's never happened before. I think YouTube has been messing up recently because my couple recent videos have not been getting very many views compared to normal. I mean, it's still a decent amount, but not a ton. And uh, I think it's because they're not getting broadcast to people's boxes uh, for some reason. Anyway. Okay, let's see. But definitely nice. I like uh, it just looks so much better overall. Oh, nice. And another demonic thingy here. Well, Zamorak, I suppose. Sammy symbols all over. Just stand in the middle. Doubt anything will happen, but no, I can't really even stand there. Okay, let's see. Um, oh yeah, the uh, the lava obel or the uh, sorry fire obelisk. Oh yeah, that's so much nicer. Look at that. Very cool. Hmm. Yeah, that's quite nice. I want to see the water one now. I mean, it would probably be the same thing with the blue effect. If they even changed it, it's not actually in the dungeon. But let's see. Oh no. This is... Wow. I can't believe it. That's, these, that's like the exact same version that they had. Like, or at least it looks very familiar. I don't I, I don't think they've changed that in like 10 years or something insane. It looks actually no maybe it looks a little bit different but interesting. I don't know so if anyone knows for sure if they could comment that would be cool. I've, it looks so similar to how it did years and years ago but I don't know if that's just because I haven't seen it in a while and it still does look sort of similar or what. Oh, nice hellhounds. Cool. Well, they didn't update the other resource dungeon, so I'm not going to bother going into the Hellhound one. Yeah, I remember having to cannon Hellhounds in here. It was so annoying. You put uh, I always put the cannon right up here, um, because it would get a few to the south and then a few to the north. But there would be people who would put it like right in the middle. And I remember having to use Guffins here and using it like almost all the time because they kept hurting a lot. Um, yeah, so that was a bother. Not to mention, I, a lot of the Slayer I did then was before the agility shortcut was added, so you had to walk all the way through. Let's see what the agility shortcut's like, though. Uh, a little bit laggy, but let's try that again. Why did I get hurt? There we go, jump over it. No spikes. Try it again. Oh, okay, weird. I guess I just had a random fail there. Um, okay, well, that's it for this video. Just a quick little random thing. Uh, if you guys want to see more of the high detail graphics, make sure you check out the link in the video description, and that'll be good, I guess. So, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching.